You'll need two rectangles of the same size, one for the exterior and one for the interior. This is my exterior rectangle, which I've already made up with vinyl and fabric together. Um, you can use any fabric you want. This is my zipper. It's just one half of zipper by the yard. What I did was I just cut the length that I needed and then split it in two, just split it down the middle. Um, and the length that you need is gonna be a little bit longer than your rectangle. And um, I usually mark the center of the zipper and the center of the rectangle, center them up, and then pin the zipper down so that it is teeth facing down. And I, well, I don't use pins, I use clips, but teeth facing down onto the rectangle centered along the top. And now I'm clipping it along that top edge and once I have it clipped, I'm just going to um, take it and sew one line of stitching along the top of that zipper. Okay, here you can see the zipper is right side down, teeth facing the right side of the exterior piece here. And I'm going to just sew this down. Okay, there you have it. Now I'm gonna take my rectangular lining piece and I'm going to put it right sides together with the exterior piece so that the zipper is sandwiched in between. And I'm going to use my clips to just pin along the top of that again, um, just like I did the last time. And then I'm going to sew another line of stitching, but this time I'm just gonna come in a little further closer to the teeth of the zipper to sew the lining into place. I'm gonna go flip this wrong sides together now and then press it and then I'll top stitch. Right here, I'm top stitching, getting ready to top stitch along the edge of that zipper. Now it's time to put on the zipper pull. And you're going to put the pull on the zipper just like you normally would for any zipper. Um, you're gonna start on one side and then you're gonna fold and flip the other end of the zipper and then just feed that end through the pull. Just like that. Okay, now open that zipper just about halfway because you need it open to be able to turn this bag eventually. So open it like I'm doing here. And then you're going to grab the lining and grab the exterior and separate them so that the lining is now right sides together and the exterior is right sides together. And we're going to just stitch around the entire bag, um, just leaving an opening in the bottom of the lining for turning the bag. So I'm just clipping everything in place so it doesn't shift before I go to stitch around the bag. You can see I've got the zipper folded kind of in half and the zipper teeth are facing the lining. Okay, I'm getting ready to stitch the bag up. I'm going to start on the bottom of the lining. I'm just gonna do a short line of stitches, then stop, pick up, and then do another short line of stitches. That leaves me my turning opening. And then leave the needle down, turn, 
go along this long side, careful at that zipper, you're sewing over teeth. This is a nylon zipper, so I'm not super worried, but this machine sometimes does give me fits going over even a nylon zipper. So I'm going to hand crank going over that zipper slowly and just make sure that it gets through it. And then I will sew down the edge of the exterior and then turn and then sew down the other edge of the exterior here. And this is what it should look like when you're finished. And now I'm just going to trim the zipper ends and clip my corners and then turn the bag through the opening and the lining. Gently push out the corners with a chopstick or something that you can use to make them look nice and clean and crisp. Okay, I've just folded in the edges of that lining opening and pressed it, and now I'm going to stitch that shut. trim your threads and then push the lining inside the bag and you are finished. There you have it. Any questions, um, just leave a comment and let me know and I'll try to answer. Hopefully this was helpful for those of you who are asking how to do this style of zipper that loops around the entire bag. Have a great day guys.